Do you guys also like it when you find like a brand new series to watch and then you can watch it whilst farming in Warframe? Ah, oh, it's just the best thing ever. What's your favorite series by the way? Let me know in the comments down below and wait, what's that? Oh shit, literally all of my resources just fell down. What a coincidence. Guess it's time to farm them. Hey there fellow Tunnel, my name is Michel and today we're going to go over the best farm locations for every single resource in about 2 minutes time. Before we begin, the way that I found these nodes is that I took about 3 of the most popular farm nodes for each resource and ran them all 3 times. Then I took the average of all runs and here we go, these are the best of them. Keep in mind though that resource drops can be different from run run to the next, however taking a necros or hydrate with you for the extra loot is it's never a bad practice. So let's get a time on the screen, boom, let's go. First off, Alloy Plate. Best place to farm that is on Draco series. It's a survival mission and they tend to work really well for resource farming. Pro tip with any survival is to explore the entire map and loot every single box and locker you can find. Next up, Argon Crystal. Argon can be found anywhere in the void, but I would recommend Haypit. It's the easiest capture node. Just capture the guy and scavenge around until you have the Argon you need and get out. Super simple, super quick. Then we have Circuits. These also drop best on Draco series. After that we have control modules. Now control modules drop pretty well in the enemy survival in the void, however I'm going to recommend the Hyena Pack Assassination on Neptune. It might give a little less modules per run, but you can crank these runs out in about 2 minutes, making it more efficient. Following that we have Cryotic. Cryotic is this research you can get from completing excavations. Because you can only get 100 Cryotic per excavator, regardless of level, Go the efforts on Earth. It's simply the easiest excavation there is. Then we have Ferrite. Honestly, that just drops really well on any in the void. Ooh, here we have Gallium. Gallium is a so called rare resource, but it drops really well on the Sir Uranus. That's because this node is a dark sector survival, which means that it has a higher drop rate and increased affinity. Now, is it just me or do I always associate Morphix with Captain 4? Anyway, even though he does drop them pretty commonly, Wahiba on Mars is a far better farm. Just like Asur, it's a dark sector and it just has a bunch of morphics. Then we have nanospores, they drop really well for Sabal and Eris. Neural sensors, can you even farm them anywhere else than Alat Fee on Jupiter? Neurodes, just like the nanospores, go to Sabala. Oh, here we go, a Roken Cell. Especially for the newer players, this is one of the more important items for crafting warframes and weapons. So go to Draco on series, they don't drop in large numbers, but I got some every 5 minutes. Next up we have Plastids. They drop from our pretty familiar already, Sabala Eris. Polymer Bundle is a great drop on Ophelia Uranus. For Rubido, go to Sigma and Phobos and make sure to take a good rifle for the extra affinity. Then we have Salvage, which you can get on Wahiba on Mars. We've already seen this note before, but it just gave me some super nice amount every single time I ran it. And then we have another interesting one, Telerium. Telerium is kind of the Arcwing specific resource, though it does also tend to drop on a few regular Warframe missions. Still, for the sake of not completely abandoning Arcwing, go to Kalos Uranus. This interception mission is surprisingly not the worst Arcwing you've ever seen and works pretty good for leveling too. Finally, we have these resources, the Dita Injector, Field Run and Mutagamas. Previously you had to either farm parts to craft them or run these very inefficient invasions. But now they all drop from Fortuna Bounties, which has just become by far the fastest way of getting them. And uh, that's it. I think we got a little over 2 minutes, but whatever. I hope this helps you in your resource grind. I know it might have been a little bit information dense today, but I think the information is just super useful. Anyway, I'll see you all next week.